his statement yesterday, he said he focused on the team getting better, connecting this summer. Uh, you talked about three-peat. It makes me very nervous when we keep talking about three-peats. A lot of pressure on this team. What do you think the outlook is going to be for this season? Well, and I think that's important is we take for granted here. I think it gets taken for granted nationally. Connecticut's brand is a program. Six titles since 1999. And winning another title, it's not going to be easy. The, 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 the other point is whether he wins that third one or not doesn't, doesn't validate or not validate him deciding to not coach the Lakers. Situationally, uh, things were better at UConn than they were with the Lakers. And the Lakers offer, honestly, it wasn't good enough to get Dan Hurley to Los Angeles. What's my outlook uh, on UConn heading into this year? Aiden Mahaney is a big-time transfer who comes in from St. Mary's from out west to the northeast. He and Hassan Diara are going to make up a really interesting dynamic backcourt one-two punch. I'm looking for Jalen Stewart and Solo Ball to be able to take a sophomore leap. Caravan stretches the floor, so versatile, has elite feel for what he does. The key question is, can they keep their play at center going at the level that it's been going at? The, the 2023 title team, 22-23, Donovan Klingon joined Adama Sonogo, who was the, the man at the forefront. This year, you had Klingon and Samson Johnson. Now can Samson Johnson take the torch, and can he combine with Terrace Reed, the Michigan transfer? Can the Huskies stay dominant on the interior? If they get elite play at the center position again, and they, they're able to get that, DR being back, Mahaney being with him, UConn, they're preseason number two in my way too early top 25. I believe in their ability. I believe in their potential. You do not want to bet against Dan Hurley and his staff. All right, we will end it there because that is fantastic, and I agree. John Fanta, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.